selon l'enseignement de Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi, fondatrice de Sahaja Yoga. I bow to all the seekers of truth. Anahat signifie le son créé sans percussion. La Nahata Chakra est située au niveau du plexus cardiaque, derrière le sternum. Ses terminaisons nerveuses sont les auriculaires, les petits orteils, les points ou pita situés à droite et à gauche de la fontanelle. La Nahata, soit le chakra du cœur, est le siège de l'esprit, le soi, à l'intérieur de nous. Ce chakra établit en nous la confiance en soi ainsi que le sens de la sécurité. Ce centre est également la source de l'amour, l'amour universel. L'aspect de la mer se reflète dans la partie gauche du chakra du cœur et celui du Père dans le côté droit. Ce chakra crée, jusqu'à l'âge de 12 ans, les anticorps qui nous protègent. Ce chakra a 12 pétales, ou subplexus. Son symbole est la flamme. L'élément est l'air. La planète est Vénus, sa couleur rouge rubis. Le jour est le vendredi la pierre et le rubis, et la note, le fa. Les qualités principales du chakra du cœur sont l'amour, la sécurité, le courage, la béatitude, la foi en soi. Toutes les maladies du cœur le matérialisme et le manque d'attention vers l'esprit, les peurs et les angoisses. Non, non, non. Non respect des règles de bonne conduite, se sentir trop responsable, mauvais comportement familial du père, du fils ou du mari. Manque d'attention sur son évolution spirituelle, discipline trop rigide, les attachements, mauvais comportement familial de la mère, de la fille ou de l'épouse. Méditer en gardant son attention sur l'esprit. Faire confiance aux autres. Faire des exercices de respiration, pranayama, aimer, mère, en vérité, je suis l'esprit. Mère, s'il vous plaît, pardonnez-moi toutes les erreurs que j'ai pu commettre contre l'esprit. Mère, en vérité, vous êtes les remparts de la bonne conduite en moi et vous êtes la bienveillance d'un bon Père en moi. Mère, par votre grâce, s'il vous plaît, faites que je sois sans peur.
This chakra is placed at the back of the sternum bone, as I told you. In childhood, the antibodies are formed in the <coughs> sternum bone. They are the warriors of the Sainikas of the day. Until the age of twelve years, they grow and multiply and ultimately they all get distributed all over the body. And a human being is made able to face any outside invasion on him. These antibodies know how to fight. They are extremely confident and they know who are their enemies. They have all these messages built in themselves. So when the anti-God element enters into the being through any process, say through food, through words, through action, through devilish people or black magic, these antibodies combine together, collectively fight the invaders. Those who do not have their central heart properly developed suffer from tremendous insecurity all their lives. When they are children, you try to control them by frightening. These children later on become extremely insecure. They are afraid of darkness, they are afraid of night, some of them are afraid of everything. Because the antibodies that are built in the body are not sufficient in number. And being the center so weak, the person feels extremely insecure. Later on in life, when the child goes to the school or he tries to work, out something for the future, then also his confidence can be shaken by parents, teachers and outside people. So it is very important to understand children who are grown. In the West they analyze everything and try to put human beings into compartments. First the child is a child, according to them, child has no innocence and is extremely selfish. Second part is adolescence, which they think is a very arbitrary moody stuff. In India, we do not know that there is something like adolescence. Now these adolescent people form a group and they start criticizing or making fun of all the elders. At a very young age it starts. First they make fun of the teachers, then of the parents, then of all the people who are senior to them. 
they start becoming extremely active in their brains because they see too many televisions and things like that. And then they start behaving at a very young age in such a violent ways that one cannot imagine. I used to live about twenty-five miles away from London and every time I would go to London I would find some children doing some sort of a mischief somewhere. But one day some of them entered into my compartment and they started pulling out all the covers, thrusting their knives into the seats, opening out all the upholstery. I was just sitting and watching. So I said, now I retired, please sit down. What's the problem? They said, we are all very angry. I said, for what? Why are you angry? I said, we are just angry. I mean, I said, but you have to be angry for something. They were children going to good schools, definitely wearing very good clothes. And then I had to, when the train stopped, I called the ticket collector and told him that these boys have been doing all this hooliganism in the compartment and you better look at it. And he came in and he said, this is a common thing. And then somehow or other he took them out. But the only thing I felt about them is that all of them had their center heart catching. On the Kundalini they are catching their center heart. But when they saw Me they sat down, they were quiet, they listened to Me. I settled their center heart. And most of them said, We are angry with our mother. Why? Because our brothers are angry. But why your brothers are angry? Then I discovered that Freud has given these funny ideas against the mother. Mother itself, can you imagine? What an anti God activity it is. To an India, mother is the primal thing. Any India. Because his sense of security lies in the mother. Even if the father is hot tempered, is angry, still they depend on the mother. Because mother knows when to get angry and when not to get angry. She has the discrimination. And she is the one who protects them. The idea of mother is completely blasted in the West. And this is the reason why the children of that country feel so insecure and when they grow they are extremely insecure. You won't believe that all the time they are polishing their brass, cleaning their house, but not even a rat enters their houses. And if they have to talk to someone, they will make a person stand outside and talk from inside, especially in London because they are literally frightened. Nobody will believe the British who ruled us are such frightened people. But they are. They are frightened of each other, they are frightened of themselves. The reason is the center heart is absolutely weak. I have told you the first reason, the family insecurities. The child does not know when he comes back from school whether his mother would be there or she would be gone. They don't have mothers who can bear a lot from the husbands and smile and show no signs of their agony to their children. But the mothers in that country I have seen always try to use their children from all kinds of emotional blackmail, you can call it. 
they try to torture the child by telling all the things the husband is doing to them and whatever is the problem they are facing with the husband. So the child is not secured by the mother, but on the contrary, child starts giving security to mother then. At a very young age it starts and the child becomes extremely negative and left-sided. He feels that he is born in a place full of hatred, insecurity and fear. When a person is frightened, this center starts breathing fast, giving rhythmic instructions to all the antibodies. With that you feel you are getting a palpitation in the heart. This palpitation is nothing but a signal to all the antibodies to fight the emergency of an attack. But when somebody builds up insecurity later on in life, it becomes a physical problem. If they have insecurities earlier, it is an emotional problem. But later on in life, when one develops a insecurity, any kind, like a wife is insecure about her husband, husband is a loafer or a bad man and carrying on with other women. So that motherhood of the wife is challenged. And when her motherhood is challenged, she may get the weakening of the center by which she may suffer quite a lot and may have even breast cancer. These insecurities can be also self-made. Imagine, people can just think about it and build up some sort of insecurities which are of no actual existence. But such fears are very much more in the West because the life in the West has no mooring, has no explanation. Whatever you ask them, they'll say, what's wrong? The husband will say, what's wrong in having a key? And the wife will also say, all right, if he wants to have a key, let him have it. In India, no woman would tolerate such a situation. She would starve, she would do everything, but she will never touch a man who has a key. So the basis of the strength of Indian women is their sense of chastity. The sense of chastity in the Indian women is so great that nothing can deter them as long as they are chaste. 